Let's talk about gratitude. And to begin, I'd like to emphasize the various aspects of mental and physical health that have been shown to benefit from a regular gratitude practice. There are studies showing that performing a gratitude practice twice or three times or even just once a week can lead to a pervasive, a long-lasting impact on subjective well-being. People report feeling happier, more meaning, joy, even awe for their life experience simply in response to adding a gratitude practice. The key thing is it has to be the right gratitude practice. And we're going to talk about what the right gratitude practice looks like in just a little bit. But there are additional benefits of a gratitude practice. There are studies showing that a regular gratitude practice can provide resilience to trauma in two ways. It can provide a reframing and resilience to prior traumatic experiences. So buffering people against the negative uh, physiological effects and psychological effects of earlier trauma, but also inoculating them in many ways to any traumas that might arrive later in life. So that's a powerful thing. The other thing that a gratitude practice does is it's been shown to benefit social relationships but not just for the relationship in which you express gratitude, right? So on the face of it, you might think, okay, if I express gratitude for somebody over and over, over and over, over and over, then I'm going to feel better about that person. And indeed, that is one effect of a gratitude practice that's called a pro-social or inter-social gratitude practice. But there are now several studies, recent studies in good journals, pointing to the fact that a regular gratitude practice can also enhance one's social relationships across the board in the workplace, at school, at with family, in romantic relationships, and even one's relationship to themselves, which is really what the subjective feelings of well-being are. So it's clear to me that an effective gratitude practice has an outsized effect on many, many aspects of mental and physical health. And for those of you that are coming to this conversation thinking, gratitude practice, oh, that's kind of wishy-washy or woo. It's going to involve, you know, putting your hand on your heart and feeling into all the amazing things that you happen to have, even when things are really terrible. That's not where we're going at all. And equally important is to understand that the neurochemical, the anti-inflammatory, and the neural circuit mechanisms that gratitude can invoke are equally on par with some of the effects of pharmacology of things like high intensity interval training and exercise and other things that we think of as kind of more potent forms of self-intervention. So if you are of the mindset that a gratitude practice is kind of weak sauce, um, buckle up because the data actually point to the fact that a gratitude practice is a very, very potent way in which you can steer your mental and physical health in positive directions and that those effects are very long lasting.